Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to solve for a change in consumer surplus from a price increase. Nick's monthly demand for coffee is given by the following demand equation, where Q is the number of cups consumed per month and P is the price per cup of coffee. If the price per cup rises from $2 to $3, how much will consumer surplus fall? At $2 per cup, Nick buys 16 cups, just plugging this $2 into the demand equation, so 20 minus 4 is 16. And from the price increase to $3, Nick will now buy 14 cups. Plugging this $3 in the demand equation, Nick will buy 20 minus 6, or 14 cups. So the first thing I'm going to do is graph Nick's demand curve. So here's the demand equation. And I'm going to solve for the horizontal intercept, that's where the demand curve touches the quantity axis, the horizontal axis right here. And we're going to solve for that horizontal intercept by setting the price in this equation on top here equal to zero. So setting P equal to zero, Q equals 20. So Q equals 20 and P is zero. That describes the horizontal intercept. And now we're going to get the vertical intercept where the demand curve touches the price axis. To get that, we're going to set Q equal to zero in the demand equation. So setting the left-hand side of the demand equation here equal to zero, and now solving for P, and dividing through by two, the price equals $10. So when the price is $10, the quantity demanded is zero. And the next thing I do here is I just plug the $2 back into the demand equation, and as we saw, plugging that in the demand equation or plugging in the demand curve, Nick will buy 16 cups at $2, and at $3 per cup, Nick will buy 14 cups. The next step is to look at the decrease in consumer surplus. And this area right here is going to represent the decrease in consumer surplus. So this area consists of this rectangle region and this triangle region. The rectangle area is a 1 by 14 rectangle. 3 minus 2 is the 1, and 14 minus 0 is the 14. So this area here is $14. And the triangle area is, area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So we have a height here of 3 minus 2, and a base here of 16 minus 14. And 1 half times 1 times 2 then is just $1. So the lost consumer surplus because of the price increase is going to be 14 plus 1 or $15. All right, that's it.